Good morning, sheep fans. Cami's the name. Sheep's the game. We're back in the market. It's air again. This might be like my fourth or fifth vlog from air market now. Either trying to buy sheep or buying sheep. And the plan today is to try and buy some. This is the probably the last breeding sale of the year. There's not a lot of sheep in. It's mostly aged ewes. That's ewes that have had several lots of lambs before and are now being sold off just usually through farm policy. A lot of farms keep their ewes to a set age and then sell them off. And other farmers like myself that are looking to stock up and maybe not spend as much money can do it. Unfortunately though, there's quite a lot of buyers here as well and nothing is cheap this year. But then we're getting good money for our fat lambs as well. So I can't complain too much. You get more in, you're gonna have to put a little bit more out. The sale bells already went though, so we're gonna go over there and see what's happening. Now I know how much you guys love seeing different sheep breeds, so I've made sure to include plenty footage of the different sheep that are going to be sold here today. And I've wrote the breed names on the left hand corner, so if you want to know any more about them, feel free to stick it in Google and have a read, and let me know in the comments which breed you like the look of best. Now I have had a couple of days to go over the disappointment of the ram sale where I didn't put my hand in my pocket and bid a little bit more for the rams that I wanted. So although I still need to buy some rams to stock up, I also need breeding sheep and I'm determined to go home with something today. And the first lot that catches my eye is this cracking pen of Cheviot ewes. So let's try and buy them. Not even close. We'll need to try again. Well, we finally found a pen within our budget and I'll give you a better look at these sheep at the end of the sale. Now, whilst the main part of this sale today is breeding females, it is also the second ram sale at Ayr, so there is also a number of rams to be sold. And since my last video where I struggled to buy tups, I have done a private deal and got myself four Texel shearlings, which hopefully will do a great job for me. Now I could just do with a couple more rams to help make up my numbers. Got it. I managed to buy this really strong looking blue faced Leicester ram as well as a couple of other purchases. Now let's go and round them up and let you see them. Okay, so we've done this before, sheep fans. Once you have bought your sheep, you reverse into the, the layerage, not the layerage, the loading bay. 
get your trailer ready to receive and then hopefully some kind member of staff will have brought the sheep over so that I don't need to go hunting for them. Tops first please. Uh, there's, I put them all, uh, they're all tight together, there's two and two, uh, good man. They're on tip, the boys are on tip. So we're going to put the tops up top because the tops are going to come off last and also if you have a trailer with decks like this, there's more headroom in the top deck. So because some of those blue faced lesters are quite a tall sheep, being on the top deck will be good for them, they've got more room. Let me just chain this up, you wait there a second. We got there, doing great. Go on boys! Go on boys! Come on boys! Come on boys! Hey, right, good man. Oh, he's gone for it already. No, come back, I want to talk about you. Right, hang on, hang on, don't run in there. Let me just discuss this first. Okay, so let me give you a little breakdown of what we bought there. Most of them, I think I got footage of them as I bought them in the ring, but we'll, we'll talk about it and maybe I can discuss what I think about the prices. So the first sheep, hopefully you can see him in here, is this Beltex. He's running himself, so he's cost me 200 pounds. Now, in today's current market, I'm happy with that, it's a bargain. He's not gonna be a principal top, and by that I mean, I don't intend to probably put him out initially. What I'll do is my Texels will get the first turn, and he'll go out as what we call a chaser. That said, I may still need a top for my U-Hogs, so he might go out to the U-Hogs. I've got options there, and it's good to have options. Next purchase, Murray, you just listening and learning here? Nah, I was just, I was just wanting to come to you and put you on by. <laughs> <laughs> so Murray's, Murray's in buying his tops, he's starting his own sheep flock. So the next, uh, next, what we're saying, next thing we bought, let's look at, look at this clin. Unusual decision, you don't get many clins in it here. And I know Ian, the farmer that was, was selling it, I scan his sheep which always makes me more favourable towards buying your tops, uh, sheep fans. If you're in sheep scan, you know, give me a shout. So this one was £150, which to be perfectly honest with you, it, it's a great price. It's a bargain. That lamb, I could use that lamb and probably sell him again for £150 through the fat ring. He'll be ideal for my Shetlands. If you remember last year, we used a Clint Cross Romney. Those went to the, the fat ring after they were used. So I needed something else for the Shetlands. He'll be great for my Shetlands. Nice, narrow head, good skin. And he should leave a, he's not gonna leave a, a massive, big-ended lamb like a Texel would, but there'll be good lambs out the Shetlands. Next up, let's talk about 663, this chap here. He was as close as I could see today in the market. There was no traditionals in. He's not far away from it though. And he should leave some nice lambs. He's a good big sheep, and he cost me 280 pounds. Which, to be honest with you, now I see him out there, was a bargain. He's a, he's a good sheep, really good sheep. Next up, see him looking ready for work. The lips up, he can smell the girls. Another blue faced Lester Shearling, two year old. When I say Shearling, I'm talking about two year old sheep. This guy was £200. Now, when I bought him, I think I already have enough blue faced Lesters. But he was right at the end of the sale, and I thought, good to have an extra one. He wasn't overly expensive. I'm happy with £200. Again, Gives me options for chasing up, running up. Good to have a spare tup. Will he go out initially? Probably not, but you'll find out when the tups go out. So I'm gonna get them loaded up and then we'll show you the, the girls before we finish. Enough of that. I've done enough of that, exactly. Good man, cheers. Now these rather well-trained blacky girls that ran on the trailer there without any ushering from myself, they were prices. So the, the batch of 17 that I bought were 70 pounds each. They were a lot of five-year-old ewes. And there was a batch of six, I think I got footage of me buying them. Hopefully I did. They were five or two crop ewes and the other one was a four crop ewe. They were 68 pounds. So let's just call it 70 across the board for those 23 sheep. Not a lot of money in today's market. If I can get a, a blue faced Leicester lamb out of those, 
you know, say the ewes are worth 120. It's going to work out all right, I think. They obviously need to live through the winter. That's the danger when buying old ewes. Better just pull, pull out this loading bay and let the next person in rather than holding up space. But the danger when buying old ewes is always it's going to be difficult to get them through the winter because they need a lot of grass. They don't run as hard as young sheep. But I've done it before. I'm used to working with older sheep when I first started and I was even poorer than I am now. It was only way into the sheep game really was to buy older sheep because they're cheaper, of course. Like £70 for a breeding sheep this year is very cheap. But it's because I'm buying an older sheep. The stage I'm at in my farming career, I'm never going to have money in the bank because I'm constantly trying to grow. And hopefully one day we get somewhere where we can start making a good living from sheep. I'm not pleading poverty by any means. I shear a lot of sheep and that helps towards my, my living costs now that I'm out of the police. Obviously I relied on the police wage to get me through before. And we do the scanning as well, which is which is good um, through the winter and, and earns a good crust. And in fairness, the lifestyle that I'm living at the moment as a farmer, you know, I'm not going out spending money on nights out or buying fancy clothes or any of those things. Going on holidays even, not really spending money on that. So most of my money goes into just cost of living and buying more sheep. Anyway, that's us finished at the market again today, sheep fans. Hope you've enjoyed this one and we'll see you for the next one. Cheers.